something that is just uh, very disturbing and embarrassing. It would have been nice and we would have all been happy if this fight against corruption had some form of direction. In recent times, he could be termed as a self-proclaimed defender of the Patriotic Front PF as he was representing the fallen party in legal battles. However, Saturday 3rd December 2022, the country woke up to a rude shock of Mr Ngolube's demise. On hand to confirm this news, acting president of the opposition PF Given Lubinda said, a very, very heavy heart that I have to announce the demise of one of us, the demise of uh, a member of the Central Committee, former member of Parliament for, Kwat for Kabwe, our lawyer, our good friend, in the name of Honorable Tutu Angulube, who passed on early this morning. In taking turns, some members of the Patriotic Front described the late Mr. Ngulube as a patriot soldier who defended the rights of the Zambians. In the rule of law, his demise is a big, big loss, not only to the PF, but also to the law fraternity. Because at a tender age, like he was, he was full of wisdom as if he was a 70, 80-year-old man. In terms of the law, he was... One lawyer who used to do a lot of research, because when you went to court, he could court the law without looking in the book correctly to defend you in court. I feel broken. It is a loss, not only for the country, for the party, for the family, it is a personal loss. Tutwa was a fearless, towering legal mind. He was a very dedicated counsel. He always gave his very best to his clients, and I can attest to it. I remember Tutwa in 2014 in Kabwe at Murungushi Rock of Authority when we were electing the successor to President Sata. Tutwa was our presiding, our retaining officer. I remember how firmly he stood and protected the, the, the interests of democracy. Losing a vibrant young lawyer like Tutwa, who stood for justice. It is quite, uh, uh, it is quite heartbreaking. And I would uh, describe him as a very brave young man. You know, a lawyer who was intelligent, uh, who represented his clients very well. And he made sure that the people whose rights were being violated, whether be by previous governments or even by the present ones, those who called on him, he was ready to go and assist them. So the country is going to miss a very able lawyer, a very eloquent and very intelligent lawyer. He also worked as a deputy chief whip in parliament, if you remember when we were in government. And he led the politicians, or the MPs for PF at least very, very well in the House. So even the MPs for the Patriotic Front and the Central Committee itself is going to miss him. Talk to all of us as a PF uh, family, and on my own behalf as uh, a bowman, we have re I have received this uh, uh, news uh, uh, with shock. Uh, Tutu and I were in the uh, same uh, life of parliament from 2016 uh, to 2021 uh, and his contribution in parliament towards the uh, growth of this country, it was amazing. He was a soldier, a very courageous uh, a young man. Very active member of parliament and a concerned a citizen to make sure that uh, uh, develops. You remember that uh, at one time, Kawe was said to be a ghost town, and that our people suffered um, injuries out of uh, pollution that was in Kawe. So we had um, a program that we were working with the World Bank to try and reduce and ensure that um, a young people are protected. Honorable Tutu Angrube was very instrumental to ensure that uh, the livelihood of people of Kawe and beyond Kawe in this central province was uplifted so however the opposition pf information and publicity secretary rafael nakachinda has a different view and it so happened that i was assigned to interact with Tutuangurule. what was reviewed in our interaction was that he was worried about his life because he had been receiving messages of threats uh, both from within Osaka as well as in Kabul. Um, and uh, to that effect, 
we are concerned on the death of Onimo Tutangulu. We hope that the family will not uh, consider our comments to be mere political rhetoric, but they will take seriously uh, our request that they uh, uh, insist on a due diligence to be undertaken. One, to insist that the samples that may have been initially taken to examine what could have been wrong um, be utilized uh, now and that a post-mortem also be undertaken and possibly undertaken by an independent pathologist, forensic pathologist, to be able to ascertain the cause of death. Though Mr. Ngulube will be mainly remembered for his boldness, especially in choice of legal battles, he was at times found at the wrong side, such as threatening to break bones of the youth. We want to urge our youths to say anyone who participates in such kind of activities who will be treated as a law breaker. And we urge the police, when you detain such people, don't even give them police bond. Let the people of Zambia live their lives in peace. We cannot be uh, incited every time one politician or one NGO is not happy with anything, they should take our people in the streets. The police must be ready for them, break their bonds if possible. Let the people know that a lawbreaker is a lawbreaker. Regardless, his death has left the country and the political scene in our. For Movie TV News, Diambela Mutumba in Lusaka.